One of the great features in Macabacus is the ability to have a library which can be shared across an entire organization. If we go up here to the Macabacus section of the ribbon, right in this section under model, we can see library. If we click all content, we're going to see the library pane open up on the right hand side here. Everyone has access to a personal library, but in this video, we're going to go through some of the background setup in order to set up a shared library across your entire organization. Let's close out of this and get started. In this video, we're going to be walking through setting up cloud storage for Macabacus. If you are using a shared network drive, for instance, if you're all accessing the same drive, like an F drive, G drive, N drive, and they're all mapped the same way, then you could skip over this video and go straight ahead to our videos on setting up shared libraries. If you are using a cloud storage solution to share files with your colleagues like OneDrive, Dropbox, or Google Drive, then you're definitely in the right place with this video. Let's get started. Let's navigate to the Macabacus website. You can see right here, the address we've navigated to is macabacus.com forward slash docs for documentation. We're going to expand this configuration section and navigate down here and click on cloud sync folder. In this series of videos, we're going to go through three ways in which Macabacus can be set for cloud storage. First, we're going to look at automatic detection. Second, the ability to do a manual override. And third, we're going to look at defining an environment variable. Let's dive in and take a look. Now let's navigate back over into the Excel interface. And this is where we'll want to go up into the Macabacus section of the ribbon. Here under settings, we're going to click configure. When this dialog box comes up, we can look down the left hand side and click on here where it says cloud storage. As we mentioned, the first thing that we're going to discuss is right here, automatic detection. We can see up here in this little dialog that Macabacus has the ability to automatically detect OneDrive and Dropbox. So if you happen to be using one of those solutions, it will make this job a little bit easier. In this case, we can see that Macabacus has automatically detected right here, the correct path to our OneDrive account. If in fact we were using OneDrive in our organization to share with our colleagues, then we'd actually be done this step for cloud storage. If we're using a different cloud storage solution that hasn't been automatically detected by Macabacus, we'll need to go ahead to the next video and check out how to do a manual override. The other thing which may be happening here in this open field is that Macabacus may have detected OneDrive as our first cloud storage solution, and it may have detected Dropbox as our second cloud storage solution. It will give preference to the first one detected. So if the second one detected is Dropbox and we wish to use Dropbox, then again, we'll need to go ahead to the next video and check out how to do a manual override. So again, if Macabacus has correctly detected the cloud storage solution that you wish to use as the first placeholder right here, like OneDrive, and you want to use OneDrive, then you're all set and you can go ahead to our videos on shared libraries. If you need to do a manual override, we'll see you in the next video. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.